Hello, friends. Happy Wednesday. <laughs> Been a while since we've done a Wednesday video, but uh, had some time today. Life's been good to me today, and uh, can't complain about that. Smoking the Wednesday basket pipe, as is tradition, and smoking haunted bookshop, as is habit. I'm about three quarters of the way through this bowl, I think, so you might get to see a reload. I know you'll love it when I do that. Uh, so, if you caught my Sunday video, you know that we had a bit of a flood down here in the shop. The uh, sump pump clogged on me during one of the worst rainstorms we've had in a year. And I had uh, somewhere between one and two inches of water on the floor. All is good. Uh, everything's dry. I've been rotating a fan around to different spots just to make sure it's really dry, but I was able to. I still haven't fixed that auto power off thing, have I? <laughs> Sorry about that. It's uh, it's because the camera isn't plugged in, so it keeps warning me that it's going to turn off. If I remember to occasionally reach up and touch it, we should be okay. But just think of it as a feature. So, uh, yeah, things are things are looking really good. I mean, nothing's where it's supposed to be. I had to move everything to get the water up. I spent. A lot of time on Sunday mopping and shop vacuuming and all that good stuff. Uh, but I got everything pretty dry. I got to move stuff back right now uh, to walk approximately 20 feet from the bottom of the stairs to this corner. Uh, it takes me about 50 feet because I'm going in and out of things. But uh, we'll get everything moved back. It's all good. The biggest problem is I got a lot of these floor mats that. Um, I bought them at Harbor Freight. I don't remember what they're called, but they're soft, cushiony mats that you put down on concrete floors to, to stand on when you're working. So I've had them in front of my lathes and things like that. And they got saturated, and I'm not sure. I'm going to try to clean them, but they might just have to get tossed and replaced. They're not very expensive, so not a big deal. Everything else survived just fine. Now that it's dry, i got to go and shop back the dry uh, because there's a lot of sawdust and things like that that got kind of moved around and that's just generally dirty now but uh yeah we're, we're getting there slowly but surely could have been a lot worse and the work week's been busy i've got a little bit of time it's uh, currently just about four o'clock so i'm uh taking advantage of the fact that i've got a slightly slow afternoon to squeeze a video in here and say hello to you. I'll touch the screen and hopefully avoid the auto shut off. Um, and I'm, I'm happy today because I got stuff. I got two new additions to my gatherings. For those of you that don't know, uh, I hate the the word collection because I'm not a collector. I'm a pipe smoker. I don't collect them. I smoke them. They're tools. I don't collect my tools. So. And uh, I was complaining to my wife about, she said something like, you know, are you going to put that pipe in your collection? And I complained. She said, well, you should probably call it a gathering then. So I like that. It's a gathering of pipes. So I got a new pipe to add to my gathering, which I'll show you in a minute. I also got a new Larry Blackett buttons for your britches tamper that I was really excited to see when when he came out with this this is called the American spirit let's see it's a really beautiful eagle sitting up on a stump there about to do something that eagles do uh, <laughs> I don't know exactly what he's about to do but looks like he's about to pounce uh, yeah really cool and as Larry's tampers always are it's very well weighted it's just it's just nice to hold and nice to use so He's having a sale on this right now, which is why I jumped on it. Um, I think they're regularly $15, and he's selling them for 10 I don't know if that's still going on, but uh, yeah, 10 plus shipping. But yeah, Larry just does nice work. And I don't need tampers. You know, I'm in this strange situation where, and you don't, you don't even need a tamper. You can use your finger, but don't burn yourself. Uh, you don't need more than one tamper, obviously, 
But these things are just so darn pretty that I, I can't help myself sometimes. That's Larry Blackett. He's Buttons4, four, number four, your britches on YouTube and on Instagram. And uh, always coming out with something new, so check him out. Uh, the other thing that I'm very excited about is my new pipe. And I will show that to you. Just, got, just open the box. And I have to admit, the reason I'm making this video is primarily to show off this pipe. This is a Talbert. Um, Trevor Talbert and his wife Emily make these. Uh, this is the his uh, his. Uh, I'm going to murder this, but Ligne Britannia line. Um, maybe you can see this on the on the pipe shock. I don't know if that's going to show up or not. There we go. And these are made from stumbles that he got from. If I'm remembering the story right, he purchased these from uh, a defunct French factory. Uh, so they were pre-phrased, but he still has to do a lot of work on them. You know, puts the stem on and everything. So they're 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 definitely high-end artisan pipes in in every aspect, other than the stumbles are, are pre-phrased. Uh, the rustication on this is just absolutely gorgeous. It's a variation on what he calls a raven's wing rustication, and I've always liked this. Uh, you know, I've seen this on other pipes that he's made, and I, I knew I was going to get one of these eventually. But this one is very unique. Uh, you can see that's got this this circular swirling, and that's on both sides. Kind of reminds me of a fingerprint, and it just has this really wonderful feel. Like it's 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 easy to hold on to. It's it's I don't know how to explain it, but it just feels good in my hand. So I'm really looking forward to smoking this. Got a I believe that's a copper band, I'm not entirely sure, and a very nice stem. So, yeah, I'm excited about that. And, of course, the billiard, which makes me happy. <clears throat> so, really glad to uh, to own that, and uh, we'll be smoking it soon in a, in a video, I'm sure. So, that's my, <clears throat> my update on stuff I got. Uh, <laughs> I don't like doing that because I don't like to make people feel like they have to run out and buy stuff. But let's face it, we're we're in this for a number of reasons. <clears throat> I'm in it because I just like smoking pipes and I like everything about them. And that leads me to add pipes to my gathering and add tampers to my gathering. <clears throat> but for a really long time, I had one pipe and then I thought I was really hot stuff when I had six. <laughs> And I kept that going on for a long time before I added anything. So you don't need a bunch of pipes. Uh, you don't really need but one, to be honest. Uh, so I titled this video, Making Hay While the Sun Shines, which is a little bit cryptic. Sorry. <laughs> a little bit cryptic and uh, doesn't really make sense because I can't make hay right now because my shop is in such disarray. I mean, I honestly can't do anything down here except sit in this corner and do my day job or talk to you. Uh, but I'm going to hopefully somewhat, maybe Friday, I'll have, no, I won't have time Friday. This is going to be weekend work. I'm going to be trying to clean up those mats that I talked about and get things moved back to where they belong and hopefully get things running again. So we'll, we'll see how that goes. But in the meantime, I was thinking, I've been wanting to make a couple of lighter videos for a long time. Uh, I made one and I thought I was going to make a bunch of them. I've got a whole bunch of lighters that I need to work on and I wanted to make videos about them, talking about the history and all. And I think I'm going to start doing that, uh, especially now that it's warm and I don't have to worry about the furnace turning on every 10 minutes because uh, it's a real pain to be doing something where you're actually demonstrating a you know, working on something and then have the furnace go off. You can't redo it because you've already done the thing. Uh, and my wife likes to be not cold. So so I think I'm going to start that. I've got a, a, a lighter that my buddy Michael Case sent me that's a Scripto lighter that I've been wanting to work on for a long time because I, I love them. They're, I don't have any, and this is a great example of one. So I think I'm going to start to put that together uh, maybe this evening even. I'll, I'll start to do some work on that. So you can, something to look forward to. I guess I'm making A when the sun doesn't shine or 
Do, I'm, I'm making something that's not hay while the sun's not shining. I guess that's what I should have called the video, but that would have confused you even more. Uh, beyond that, just having a great week and, uh, you know, busy, but all good stuff. I hope you're doing the same. Uh, we got a live stream on Friday at 8 p.m. Eastern. Uh, just the usual pipe club stuff. Uh, nothing nothing uh, too exciting. I, I had hoped to maybe do something. This was a crazy idea. I thought, well, it's... I'm going to touch the screen. I thought it's, um, it's Friday the 13th. And you hear about Christmas in July. I thought, why not uh, Halloween in May? And I was hoping to get a couple of people that would be willing to call in with a ghost story or something like that. But nobody, uh, nobody took the hook on that. So uh, we'll see. Maybe I'll find something spooky to talk about. Otherwise, we'll just have our usual shenanigans. So I hope you join me uh, right here on this channel this coming Friday night, uh, which is May 13th at 8 p.m. Eastern. And with that, friends, I think I'm going to uh, empty this because it's now ash and uh, check and see if I'm needed at work and uh, then eat some dinner. Hope your week is going well. Hope you're on the downward slope now to, uh, to the weekend and looking forward to that. And until we speak again, I'll look forward to talking to you all again very soon. Take care, guys.